Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for February 20th, read by Sarah M. from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. AA Thoughts for the Day. Control. At a certain point in the drinking of every alcoholic, he passes into a state where the most powerful desire to stop drinking is of absolutely no avail. This tragic situation has already arrived in practically every case long before it is suspected. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 24. Thought to Consider When a person tries to control their drinking, they have already lost control. AA Acronyms Action Any Change Toward Improving One's Nature Just for Today Unity from the Vicious Cycle At that time, 1938, the group in New York was composed of about 12 men who were working on the principle of every drunk for himself. We had no real formula and no name. We would follow one man's ideas for a while, decide he was wrong, and switch to another's method, but we were staying sober as long as we kept and talked together. There was one meeting a week at Bill W.'s home in Brooklyn, and we all took turns there spouting off about how we had changed our lives overnight, how many drunks we had saved and straightened out, and last but not least, how God had touched each of us personally on the shoulder. Boy, what a circle of confused idealists. Yet we all had one really sincere purpose in our hearts, and that was not to drink. Fourth edition, Alcoholics Anonymous, page 227. Daily Reflections The Gift of Laughter At this juncture, his AA sponsor usually laughs. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 26. Before my recovery from alcoholism began, laughter was one of the most painful sounds I knew. I never laughed, and I felt that anyone else's laughter was directed at me. My self-pity and anger denied me the simplest of pleasures or lightness of heart. By the end of my drinking, not even alcohol could provoke a drunken giggle in me. When my AA sponsor began to laugh and point out my self-pity and ego-feeding deceptions, I was annoyed and hurt, but it taught me to lighten up and focus on my recovery. I soon learned to laugh at myself, and eventually I taught those I sponsor to laugh also. Every day I ask God to help me stop taking myself too seriously. As Bill sees it, the coming of faith. In my own case, the foundation stone of freedom from fear is that of faith, a faith that, despite all worldly appearances to the contrary, causes me to believe that I live in a universe that makes sense. To me, this means a belief in a creator who is all power, justice, and love, a God who intends for me a purpose, a meaning, and a destiny to grow, however little and haltingly, toward his own likeness and image. Before the coming of faith, I had lived as an alien in a cosmos that too often seemed both hostile and cruel. In it, there could be no inner security for me. Grapevine, January 1962 When I was driven to my knees by alcohol, I was made ready to ask for the gift of faith, and all was changed. Never again, my pains and problems notwithstanding, would I experience my former desolation. I saw the universe to be lighted by God's love. I was alone no more. Letter, 1966. Big Book Quote We are like men who have lost their legs. They never grow new ones. Neither does there appear to be any kind of treatment which will make alcoholics of our kind like other men. We have tried every imaginable remedy. In some instances, there has been brief recovery, followed always by a still worse relapse. 
Physicians who are familiar with alcoholism agree there is no such thing as making a normal drinker out of an alcoholic. Science may one day accomplish this, but it hasn't done so yet. Alcoholics Anonymous, more about alcoholism, page 30. 24 hours a day, AA thought for the day. Liquor used to be my friend. I used to have a lot of fun drinking. Practically all the fun I had was connected with drinking. But the time came when liquor became my enemy. I don't know just when liquor turned against me and became my enemy, but I know it happened, because I began to get into trouble. And since I realized that liquor is now my enemy, my main business is keeping sober. Making a living or keeping house is no longer my main business. It is secondary to the business of keeping sober. Do I realize that my main business is keeping sober? Meditation for the day. I can depend on God to supply me with all the power I need to face any situation, provided that I will sincerely believe in that power and honestly ask for it, at the same time making all my life conform to what I believe God wants me to be. I can come to God as a business manager would come to the owner of the business, knowing that to lay the matter before him means immediate cooperation, providing the matter has merit. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may believe that God is ready and willing to supply me with all that I need. I pray that I may ask only for faith and strength to meet any situation. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Sarah, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.